gentlemen, this is Ian Allen. We're in um, Plantation in Valencia. And this is where the uh, Obia man identified as Harry Ramdan. Well, he was an, he was an Obia man. He was shot and killed on Wednesday, the 30th of October, as the eve of Diwali. His two sons were also shot. One died. So this was class, classified as a murder, a double murder. So as you can see, well, he's, you know, we, we just came here. He has his prayer thing there. Okay, look, one across. So, you know, we, yeah. There's, an, there's another one here. There's another one there. And, um... There's another one here too, across here. There's a lot of high, it's like high smelling scent, uh, like a candle, there's a cutlass here, okay? They were shot and killed right across here, right, right across here. I saw, um, right across here to the back of me, if you have any information, go to my website, there's another, another light light in there. If you have any information, get in contact with me, okay? I was just watching the cutler, something on this side, boy. Right? Look at it. You'll see more on Wednesday. Look at that stuff. Watch. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any information about this double murder that took place, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Raka Kodash. Double honor unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. This is Brother Yerushalam coming at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Raka Kodash. The name of this one is You Obia, witches and warlocks, will be unalived by the Lord. Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. Alright, you witches and warlocks, you're going to be unalived. Alright? And here you see in, um, in this video, a local guy in Trinidad by the name of Ian Allen has a crime watch show. You know, and basically he's just showing me the home of um, a known, a known Obia man, so called quote unquote Obia man. Right? Who was unalived, you know, the eve of um, Diwali, which is a pagan celebration. Right by those Hindus. Alright. You know, here you can see the candles and cutlass and you know, and this this is a big um even though his, his name sounds like a so called East Indian, some of those so called um East Indians are Jakes. Alright? You know, because Jake was scattered to the, during the media Persian captivity as well on into India. Alright, so um you know um the, this 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 sort of um left hand side you know, magic, witches, you know, witch, witchcraft, what being a warlock, you know, is, is greatly desired by our people. They're fascinated by it. Alright? But here it is, you know, people, a lot of people come into him, you know, to be delivered from their troubles. Alright? And he himself couldn't deliver himself, you know, when, when his end came. Alright? And this just proves that, that the left hand side is weaker than the right hand side. It proves that, you know, that witchcraft, you know, being a witch, you know, warlock, you know, it doesn't pay off. All right? Because the Lord gave the rules. You know, that's what he gave the laws for. And when the scripture said, um, let's get at, when the scripture said in Exodus 22 and 18, all right, it says, um, thou shall not suffer a witch to live. All right? You know, that, that was not a joke. That's a law. And the laws of the Yabashim, Yahweh Shai, is powerful. The word of the Lord is powerful. As the scriptures say, <coughs> it's quick and powerful. Alright? The word of the Lord is quick and powerful. Sharper than any what? Two-edged sword. Right? Um, Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is quick and powerful. That's why he, he that guy was unalived. Alright? And sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and the marrow and as a discerner of the thoughts and an intent of the heart. So this guy have all these different altars, to these false idols, to these different spirits, which that's what they are. Demons they worshiping. All right, you know. Yet, yet at the end of the day, you know, uh, it couldn't, it couldn't um, provide any protection for him. All right, you know, his end came. 
you know, because it's time and rich, because the Lord holds the holds the um the the, the, the control over the, um your life. All right, as the scripture say in um the book of Psalms, um to the Lord belong the issues from death. It says Psalm sixty eight and verse um verse twenty. It says, He that is our power is the power of salvation, and unto power the Lord belong the issues from death. Right. The Lord belong the long issues from this. When the Lord say, say you're ready to go, no matter no matter how many demons you're dealing with, all these idols, pagan idols, ain't nothing gonna save your life. Alright? Ain't nothing, ain't none of them gonna save your life. They're gonna turn on you and obey the heavenly father. This is first Samuel 2 and 6. The Lord kill it and make it alive. He bring it down to the grave and bring it back up. So whereas there are all these witches and warlocks who be doing things, you know, for money. For, for other wicked jakes and heathens you know, unaliving people causing people a lot of pain and grief through the witchcraft you know at the end of the day you know you just be working for the heavenly father on the left hand side all right and when your time has come all all you're gonna pay for all your sin all that you've done all right you know <clears throat> you're gonna pay for all of it what, what you thought you thought you thought it's gonna turn out different no you're gonna pay for all of it you see, because Jake, Jake loved this, you know, whether it's, um, whether it's um, the into, into Hinduism, which is another set of, set of evil spirits, or the into Orisha, all right, these different deities from the so-called, from the African, Afrocentric, so-called black, black um, religions, what they call it, which is really witchcraft, worshipping gods of the Ihamites, the Oya, Ogun, and Oshun, you know, and Shango, and all this bullshit. Which are all what demons, all right? Going into demons, you know. Uh, um, they had some wicked um, jakes now. A lot of them practicing this Orisha thing, you know, and calling on these demons, you know, to put spells on people. You now, especially nigger woman. Right? Well, you know the fucking nigger woman. You know, she with that feminism. A lot of them worship the goddess Oya, you know, including um, I believe this this uh celebrity Beyonce. She um she worship with Oya, you know, by the way she dresses, you know, basically and, and that and she basically that that deity stands for feminism and female empowerment. All right, you know basically she's a warrior queen. She's fierce, she's protective, you know, strong, you know she she um she's the one who who um is, is important in charge of afterlife experiences, you know. All this kind of bullshit. Alright? And of course, when we get to the ultimate, uh, 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 the ultimate, um, you know, false god, which going into what? Serapis Christus, a.k.a. Cesare Borgia, a.k.a. Jesus the Christ. Alright? You know, um, which is the ultimate idol, you know, that, that our people are worshipping. And the script just told us that this would happen. Alright? Deuteronomy 28, verse 64. Alright. 28, verse 64. It says what? And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, right? Wherever we went. Jake among the, the Elamites, the East Indians, so called the Persians. Jake among the Hamites. You know, they, they, they picked up and learned the ways of the heathen. Alright. It says, The Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And these are the gods, <coughs> which by the way are no gods, <coughs> uh, you know, have certain rights, you know, and passages and which and wickedness and, and witchcraft associated with them. All right, you know, and Jake, Jake, Jake love it, love to have it. So, being being um Jake being superstitious as he is. Loves to have it up. Jake always peeping over the wall to see what the heathens are doing. Alright? But as the scriptures say, the gods are the, are the, um, the heathen, you know, are idols. This is Psalm 96 and verse 5. It says, For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Now, when you're going to hear, you, go, you do a translation comparison. And you go right down to the BES translation, best translation. It says, For all the gods of the heathens are devils, but the Lord 
made the heavens. Now, there's another translation I can get here. Um, I believe it's Psalms, Psalm 95, Psalm 95 and verse 5 in the, it wasn't in that Bible, the C, C, P, D, V, well, which stands for the Catholic Public Domain Version, all right? Right, now in this version it says, um, <clears throat> it says, um, in the, it's the contemporary, contemporary English version of the Bible, Psalm 95 and 5 says, for all the gods of the Gentiles are demons, are demons, but the Lord made the heaven. Now, what, now what's a demon? A demon is an evil angel, an angel on the left hand side of the Heavenly Father. Right now, the Heavenly Father controls both good and evil. As we saw um, when we read it, he, 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 um, he controls death. All right, when you go also go to the book of um, the book of Amos, Amos chapter 3, verse 6, it says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it? So the Lord controls evil and good, both. You know, contrary to what plantation Christianity taught you. It's a damn lie. All right? So the Lord is in control, and he... He has he controls both the angels on the right hand side, which is the righteous angels, and the angels on the left hand side. All right, and they are evil angels, right? Which are what like unto what demons? All right. <clears throat> All right. Psalm seventy-eight and forty-nine. Let's get that. Uh, Psalm seventy-eight and forty-nine. Right, it says he cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, and indignation. Who does that? The Heavenly Father. All right, and trouble by sending evil angels among them. Yeah, they are what demons. All right, demons. You now, this is talking about what the Lord did to the Egyptians. All right, and what he did to the Egyptians, the Lord said he's going to do again. He's going to send plagues upon Egypt. Egypt meaning house of bondage. Which is America, Babylon, the great primarily and around the world. Alright, so when all people who do this level of wickedness and witchcraft, you're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel these demons, the same demons that you've been playing up with. They're gonna fuck you up. Alright? This is what's gonna happen to you. Right? Because Yahbashim Yahweh is the one who controls, you know, um, these angels. Uh, let's see if I can get something. Spirits, is it that? That one? No, it's, in the, it's another one. Here we go. Psalm 103 and 20. Bless the Lord, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shah, his angels. Right? That's this is both speaking about the angels on the right and the angels on the left. Right? That excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. What whose word? Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Right? Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, his armies, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. So all these angels on the right hand and on the left hand, they do the pleasure of the Heavenly Father. Right? So um, even do you, you think that you doing what you're doing is just like that. You know, man's goings of the Lord. The Lord have you doing your witchcraft, you know, to execute vengeance on certain people. And then what's going to happen? It, the, ju the judgment is going to come back on you for all the sins and all the iniquity that you have done. All right? You know, and all these people, they're, they're damn foolish because at the end of the day, you know, um, these um it's just like um with um the prophet um yeah the prophet uh oh lord why why is this slipping me right now <clears throat> elijah 
prophet Elijah with the 400 prophets of Baal. You know, when he told them to do what, he told them basically to produce their cause. You know, bring forth strong reasoning. You know, as to show the deeds that, that this Baal is, is, is of God. Right? Which he was not. Right? It's a damn demon. Isaiah 41 and 21. And the right hand side is strong. And the left hand side it says, Produce your cause. Say at the Lord, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. Bring forth your strong reasons, say at the king of Jacob. Let them bring them forth and show us what shall happen, right? Which is prophecy. And the Bible and the scripture is heavy in prophecy. Uh, what gives us the ability to prophesy? The Lord's Holy Spirit. <clears throat> right? It says, let them show the former things, what they be, that we may consider them and know the latter end of them or declare us on us things for to come. Show the things that are to come hereafter, that we may know that ye are gods, right? Yea, do good or do evil, that you may be dismayed and behold it together. And you, you the, the, this the guy here, what's his name again? Uh, um, Harry Ramdani, all right? You know, you know, for all the uh, all the altars you had to your false gods, the demons. You know, at the end of the day, you know they couldn't, you couldn't produce the cause. They couldn't save you. They couldn't save you. All right, all right. That's facts. Okay. And what we beheld there was really the judgment of the Lord. All right. And the Lord uses His spirits to to bring forth judgment as well. It says, verse twenty-four: um, "Behold, ye are of nothing, and your work of naught, an abomination is he that chooses at you." So, in the NLT, it says, "But no." You are less than nothing and can do nothing at all. Those who choose, you pollute themselves, right? That's what you're doing. You're polluting yourself. Because at the end of the day, as the scriptures say, you know, um, when they go into it, in Wisdom of Solomon, the 14th chapter, the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication. This is Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 9. It says, For the ungodly and his ungodliness are both alike hateful unto power. For with that which is made shall be punished together with him that made it. Right. You know, and, and that's what happened to this guy. You know. He was punished for, for the idol, worshipping his idols and putting down these altars to them. Alright. Okay. <coughs> Therefore, even upon the idols of the Gentiles shall there be a visitation. Right. Because in the creature of the Heavenly Father, they are become an abomination and stumbling blocks to the souls of men, right? The souls of Jake. But the Lord don't care about the heathen. Right? The, the souls of Israel. Right? And a snare, which is a trap to the feet of the unwise. You know, you know, going on and worshipping, bowing down to these things, setting up altars to them, high places. Alright? It's all vanity. It says, For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication and the invention of them, the corruption of life. Right? That's how serious it is. For neither were they from the beginning, neither shall they be forever. For by the vain glory of men, they entered into the world, and therefore shall they come shortly to an end, including, as I was saying, Serapis Christus. Right? In that image of that white boy Jesus. You know, uh, um, Jesus Christos. A.K.A. Cesare Borgia as well. All right? You know, which led our people astray and still lead our people astray up to this day. Let me jump to verse 22. It says, Moreover, this was not enough for them that they erred in the knowledge of the Heavenly Father. But whereas they lived in the great war of ignorance, those so great plagues called their peace, right? You know, they said, I talk, you know, the, the hardships of this life, you know, the judgments of the Lord, they, they calling it peace. And saying peace and safety, no, there's, there's no peace and safety coming here, sudden destruction. All right, sudden destruction, and all you worshippers of false idols, all you Obia witches and warlocks, all you dealing with reading the Egyptian Book of the Dead, you know, all you turning to fucking cat and walking about the place black cat, all you gonna die. All you gonna die. It says, it says, um, for whilst they slew their children in sacrifices, or used secret ceremonies, or made revelings of strange rites, you know, you know. And that, that, uh, uh, that's what a lot of them do, you know, including um, carnival is a part of that too, right? They kept they, they kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled, 
but either slew either but either one slew another treacherously or grieved him by adultery sleeping with his wife right so that they so that there reigned in all men without exception blood manslaughter theft and dissimulation corruption unfaithfulness tumults perjury disquieting of good men forgetfulness forgetfulness of good turns defiling of souls changing of kind all this is linked to what idolatry you have to understand this is this is powerful that this is the reason why the lord first commandments are dealing with this thing this is why the lord said you know to have no other god before him not to make any graven image and not to bow down to them right because from there is a whole corruption comes out right you know it says a defiling of souls changing of kind disorder in marriages adultery and shameless uncleanness for the worshiping of idols not to be named right because they are nothing all right is the beginning the cause and the end of all evil right and evil is going into what into into sin and sin is what transgression of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai laws and statutes first John 3 and 4 all right so now you understand how serious this shit is all right let's go to Sirach Sirach chapter 39 verse 28 all right Sirach 39 and 28 and this is what the Lord is going to do to them it says um there be spirits that are created for vengeance right which in their fury lay on sore strokes so the same spirits you know that they be playing with some probably some probably jumped on the same gunmen who came for that guy harry ramdani right in the time of destruction they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them they appease the wrath of the lord that's what they did they do fire hail famine and death all these were created for vengeance teeth of wild beasts and scorpions serpents and the sword is the man and their sword is gone all right like what the guy he, he got he got um shot it says punishing the wicked to destruction they shall rejoice and that guy was wicked this believed having all these altars in the wrong place with cut last stuck in the ground and candles lit, lit, lit up the idols you're right you know you know that that that's wickedness all right and he was punished to destruction it says they shall rejoice in his commandment and not only him all those who practice this the witchcraft and so-called obia all right they shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is and when their time is come they shall not transgress his word they're not going to transgress the word of the lord right because the lord has sent out his prophets you know to herald his coming all right and you ignore it all right you know you ignore the word of the lord and you seek to your, your idols all right see so when the time of the judgment come seek to your idols too and see if they come and help you you know see if they come and help you all right you know uh, uh um ezekiel 14 the book of ezekiel let's go to the blue letter bible book of Ezekiel 14 and 40 and, and um <clears throat> let's look back here for Ezekiel 14 and 4 it says therefore speak unto them and we will higher up All right Ezekiel 14 and um, verse 2 and the word of the Hawabashim Yahushai came unto me saying son of man these men have set up their idols in their heart and put the stumbling block of their iniquity before their face should i be inquired of of at all by them therefore speak unto them and say unto them thus saith the lord power every man of the house of israel that setteth up his idols in his heart and put at the stumbling block of his iniquity before his face and cometh to the prophet i yahweh will answer him that cometh according to the multitude of his idols the lord is going to punish you right that i may take the house of israel in their own heart because they are all estranged from me through their idols therefore say unto the house of israel thus saith yahweh power repent and turn yourselves from your idols 
and turn away your faces from me all your abominations. Right? You see, for every one of the house of Israel or of the stranger that sojourneth in Israel, which separated himself from me and set up his idols in his heart and put up the stumbling block of his iniquity before his face and cometh to a prophet of, to inquire of me concerning me, inquire of him concerning me, I, your Lord, Yabashim Yahweshai, will answer him by myself. All right? It say, And I will set my face against that man, and I will make him a sign and a proverb. The Lord is going to destroy you in a mighty way. And will cut him off from the midst of my people, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh, Yahweh Yahweshai. Verse 8, it says in the NLT, I will turn against such people and take and make a terrible example of them, eliminating them from among my people. Then you will know that I am Yahweh Bashem Yahweh And that's exactly what the Lord did in this video with this guy here. You know, right behind the same guy Ian Allen in the shed. You know, that's what he did. He made an example of them. And that's the reason why so many people turn become mad, become crazy. You know, they're smitten smith, with madness according to Deuteronomy 20 and 28. It's when those same demons are dealing with jump back on them. You know? And they, they, they soon destroy it. You know, so worry not about these people. These people who be afflicting you. You know, who be harassing us. You know, with their witchcrafts. You know, it's all going to fall back on them. Alright? It's all going to fall back on them. Okay? That's what's going to happen. Alright? <clears throat> Bear with my moment, yeah. Get Galatians 5 and 20 and we close it off. Lord's willing. Galatians chapter 5 and verse um verse 19 it says, Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these adultery, fornication, right? Idolatry, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry. Is notice it said idolatry? Um Again here, even though fornication means idolatry. Witchcraft, hatred, ven, um, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, of which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of the Heavenly Father. And that means if you're not going to inherit the kingdom of the Heavenly Father, guess what? You're going to be destroyed in the lake of fire, you know, and when all the different plagues, the other plagues that's coming, six other plagues that are coming before that. All right? So you better repent and turn on from your wicked ways. All of you who do who practice Judea and witchcraft, because the Lord is coming for you. I pray this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Raka Kodash. Double honor unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well and taught us this truth. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful electing next time. Abad Babal wa shalawam.